store is way bigger than I remember. Look who I found in the aisle way. <laughs> Not me. Oh, she is wild. Miss Scrooge. Until December 1st. You look sexy. That's a bit of me. We're gonna head in and watch Dune. glow <laughs> behind me. The sun has risen. It's actually 10 o'clock right now. I'm really loving this glowing <laughs> aspect to the morning. I've been doing battle with my hard drive because today is vlog editing day. It doesn't really help that I'm not into the vlog this time. Not that there's anything bad about it, but it's just not a vlog that I'm excited to upload if that makes sense. You guys might love it. I'm not telling you which one it is because I don't want you guys to not watch it just because I don't like it because you might end up loving it. External hard drive likes to eject itself without my permission, which is just fun for everyone. I've been doing some battle with that this morning. Also taking frustrated breaks by watching one of my favorite thrifting ladies on YouTube. Her name is Laura Caldwell. Funnily enough, she was in Ohio just the other week, there's this big thrifting event called Extravaganza, which funnily enough, I only just learned about yesterday from my employer. Oh, who's texting me? My friend, Angela. I just learned about Extravaganza from my employer. Come to find out, it happened a couple weeks ago, so I could have gone, but I didn't know about it, so I missed it. But funnily enough, Laura Caldwell, who I follow on YouTube, was there, and she scored some amazing things. So that's the video I've been watching this morning, seeing all the goodies that she found. They're not my style at all. She does mid-century modern kind of things, but it is still fun to watch somebody search for a treasure and find it. It doesn't matter what style you have, that's always fun. And it's making me really wanna go thrifting, which segues way into this video. So this morning, I've got a lot to get done, just admin stuff. Edit my vlog, get that ready to upload for tomorrow morning. I've gotta get my face on, I have no makeup on right now, just my lash extensions, which my friend Amanda did. Aren't they amazing? They've stayed so well. I've only lost a couple lashes, which is normal. And they always happen at night. Honestly, it's because I have battles in my sleep, considering they've stayed really well. But that's the only thing I have on right now. I've dried and styled my bangs. I'm just waiting for the rest of my hair to get about halfway dry, and then I'm gonna French braid it. If you didn't know, that's how I get perfect beach curls. I will French braid my hair and let it dry that way. And then when I take it out, it's lovely. But back to the thrifting. This evening, I'm gonna see a friend that I haven't seen since July. How many months is that? July, August, September, October, November. Five months! That's almost half a year. I have not seen this friend. You all know and love her. It's Nicole. We haven't been avoiding each other. We're not on the outs. She's just started a new job as a teacher and she's into the thick of <laughs> teaching right now. Just such a hard worker and that means very little time to hang out. But we finally figured out a time where we can get together. So we're gonna go to Huber Heights where there's this cute little thrift store. I have no idea if I'm gonna find anything. I'm only looking for one or two things, particularly a winter coat for me, a, a fancy winter coat for me, like a trench coat, but wool and really warm. Maybe some Christmas decorations if they have it out. Other than that, 
I'm just there to browse. But the reason we're gonna meet there is because we're going to the theater, which is practically next door. We're gonna go see the Dune movie, which I've already seen once, and it's really no hardship to see it again. <laughs> It was fantastic. I actually posted in the community post on my channel that I was going to go to this Dune movie for the second time and started a conversation. And some of you have been really into talking about Dune and your experiences with it. And if you've read the book or if you've just watched the movie, it's really fun. So if you want to jump in on that conversation, go find that community post and we can have a nice nerdy conversation. <laughs> Today is my perfect kind of day. I get to go thrifting, see a movie, hang out with a friend, and the sun's out. I couldn't have asked for a better day. So I'm very excited to vlog this and take you along. Obviously I can't film the movie, but we can film before the movie. But I'm gonna do more battle with my computer, see if my external hard drive is in a more cooperative mood, and get some editing done first thing this morning, and then take you along for the rest of the day. edit and a migraine later. I'm on the road to go to the theater. I need to go because I'm going to be late otherwise and I'm actually on time. Before we go to the theater though, I'm going to meet Nicole at this really cute thrift store. I haven't been there in probably over a year. It's been so long. So I don't know what it looks like anymore, but I'll bet you they have Christmas stuff and you bet I'm going to be vlogging it. So let me get on the road and I will check in with you when we get there. Okay, so I got here before Nicole. She's running about 15 minutes late, so I figured I would just go ahead and go into the shop and see what's there to see. I'm basically looking for a winter coat and Christmas stuff. Let's see what we find. this really cool tray and there's a flower on the front and I don't know if you put food on it or if this would be something you could pack in a picnic basket but it's eight dollars so that might be something I think about taking. I will say this store is way bigger than I remember. There's so much here. I need to come here more often. It's not that far away but I'm gonna have to talk over every clip because there's music playing. <laughs> See, I really like this, but it's $8. So I will say that this is a bit of a more expensive store than Goodwill. Oh, look at this. That's a bit of me. Oh, but it's $15. Man, look how pretty those are together. That'd be cute. in the aisle way. <laughs> Not me. I haven't seen you forever. In like five months. Four. Mm -mm. I saw you in July. July? Oh, you're counting July. Well, I saw you in July. Did you? Yeah. Oh yeah, because you forgot my presents. <laughs> it's really fine. <laughs> she was going to bring it today and she had a lot on her plate today and I just had a temper tantrum. <laughs> You stomped your foot just now. I did. I had a temper tantrum. I'm an adult. I'm allowed. It's really fine. Don't worry. <laughs> but I'm happy I get to see you. Right there. <laughs> it's been so long. It's been so long. This is not I allowed. I miss having friends. <laughs> <laughs> my only friend. <laughs> oh, stop. So I'm just looking for stuff for my shop. And if I happen to find something for me, you know, that's it's really a, no hardship. Thing. Oh, too big? He looks very handmade. It does. This looks like it'd be worth something. I mean, it looks Maybe. very French. It looks like that kind of style. 
Hmm, I don't know. I don't know enough about it to purchase. Guess what aisle we're in? Mm. We're in the Christmas Bahama. aisle. Yeah. We're in the Bahama. She is aisle. Miss Scrooge. Until December 1st. <sighs> we have this argument every single year. It's ridiculous. Oh, look, more Christmas stuff. We're going this way. No. <laughs> if you want to hang out with me, Can you I get. Look at the fish tank? <laughs> Fish tank. There's a fish tank. In where? Let's go look at the fish tank. Oh my gosh. No, I want to look at the Christmas stuff before the movie starts. Fine, we'll do the fish tank first. Yes. <sighs> my word. What I have to put up with. I'm not a child. You are absolutely 100% a child. This. Yeah. Oh, it's oh. not. Oh, oh that's, that's interesting. Oh. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> Great oh. minds. That's so big. That's a. Gorgeous. Statement piece. Someday I do want to have a large tank like this, but have saltwater fish. I saw some like that when I was out in college. It was the coolest thing having like live coral and Ooh, fun. anemones and things like that. Look at the size of that fish. Is that a catfish? Aww. Kinda looks like it. He has whiskers. found this bag and I love the colors, but I just don't know how much it is. It doesn't say. Oh, there she is, checking out a jacket. This would fit me. Try it on. It's a leather jacket, which is not what I came for. I came for a winter jacket. But sometimes things scream at you and you find them accidentally. <laughs> Where's your wallet? <laughs> Oh, that would be so bad. It looks like it fits. It fit. If you can zip it up. <laughs> hey, it fits! Oh my word. How does it look? Doesn't it's look too bad. Color. Oh, does it? I will take a picture of you. Look at you multitasking. I can sometimes. Oh, hey. Oh, look at this. That's why I love my friends. That was so fun. All right. That's really cute. Do you think it looks good on me? I think so. I think it looks like you. I mean, the bottom part is like a little bit more snug, which I'm not a fan of. I like looser. Yeah, I know. But other than that, I mean, I it's not this. bad. <laughs> this is a good picture. <laughs> okay, well, this is going in the cart. I'll think about it. Cassie wants me to try this one on. Okay. It just looks like her. It's more me. I was waiting for my arms to touch something, and they didn't. <laughs> No oh, sleeves, yeah. Nicole, no sleeves. Okay, see, my only issue is I got big ol' hips. <laughs> Cause yeah, they don't see, I zip it up higher and then pull it down and they usually fit that way. Oh, <laughs> not so much. Mm, maybe not. Like it fits oh. up here. Like, it does. my issue with clothes. It looks super cute like that. <laughs> it does, it looks really darling. But it bugs me that I can't put mm -hmm. it together. Yeah. I'd have to go like this and then yeah. that looks weird. Yeah. So. I don't know oh well. You and me both. <laughs> See that, did you I know? did not catch that. <laughs> it turned on right after you almost dropped it. I did not. <laughs> I mean, nice. what? What are you talking about? We may have a winner. This looks darling. Does it? Yes. <gasps> Nicole, that's so cute on you. And that's so slenderizing. Is it? Yes. You look sexy. <laughs> you look really nice. My camera ran out of space, so I had to delete something, but I think we have a winner. <gasps> Isn't she lovely? <laughs> I'm being way too used to you and your camera. Yes, I have converted her. <laughs> Stop it. Don't be happy. I'm not happy. I don't know what you're talking okay. about. We got like 10 minutes. We gotta oh, get out of here. Okay, back at the store. Quick. I'm buying oh, way more than I planned. Plan. This is totally you. What? Ugh. Oh. If I'm an Eskimo. I couldn't help it. Oh, that's cute. Oh, there's something about a red jacket. Yeah. That might, would that fit you? Oh, I gotta go red jacket. Oh, never mind. Oh, a little apron. That's cute. Ah. Oh my word, that's like, it's only $2. 
That would never fit me. <laughs> it's cute. See, my issue with this is I want to know what's actually in the box. Can you open it? No, it's got tape all over it. You find some pillows. <laughs> There's a red and brown down at the very end. I don't know if you see it. The very end. See? I know your colors. Ooh. You're gonna wash these though, right? Okay. <laughs> just gonna just gonna add. I will wash them. Smart. Okay. So that's two dollars. No, get your own cart. I want to. <laughs> Have you missed me? <laughs> All right, in the midst of this golden hour, we're gonna head in and watch Dune. <laughs> I'm so I'm excited for Nicole to see it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have popcorn. popcorn. I haven't had anything to eat today except toast. Granola bar. We've done really <laughs> well me. today, haven't we? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, time for Dune. As you can see by my outfit, it's a different day than where I left you. I actually have finished editing the vlog, came to the end of it, and realized I never did a haul for you. I'm so sorry about that, but I have everything I bought from that thrift shop with Nicole now, and I thought I would show you what I got. Some of it will be available on my shop, which I always link down below in the description box of every video, so you can check that out if you want to, and some of them I'm keeping for myself. So you already saw the leather jacket that I put in the cart. I ended up buying it. It fit perfectly. I wasn't even looking for a leather jacket, but the minute I saw it and realized that it was a genuine leather jacket, I couldn't leave it behind. It was only $10. And I feel like a leather jacket is something everybody should have as a staple in their wardrobe collection. So I definitely took that home and I don't regret it at all. <laughs> now I'm on a leather jacket kick where I want to buy everybody I know a leather jacket that's thrifted. I think it's just such a special thing to thrift something that lovely for someone else, but also the fact that it's an item that you don't really grow out of or lose taste for. It's just, it's, it's a leather jacket jacket. It's something that will always suit you, will go with anything, no matter what your age or your style. So I am now currently on the hunt for more. So I got that for myself. These next two items are going to be for sale and I think I'm going to include them in my Christmas collection drop. I don't remember which video it was, but I did vlog it. I went thrifting and found a bell with a brass stem and it was beautiful. And I was going to include it in the Christmas drop, but then part of me was like, it's so pretty. I love it too much much to get rid of it but I felt a little guilty about that because in the video I said it was gonna be for sale and I wanted to stick to that but I found a loophole because when I was thrifting with Nicole I found this beauty for three dollars this is crystal and Nicole actually taught me how to tell don't ask me how I didn't know this but I'm gonna share with you what Nicole shared with me on how to tell if something is crystal or not. You dip your finger in water and you glide it across the edge of the glass and if the glass sings, you know it's crystal. And I think you can tell to what degree it's made of crystal because it is a mixture oftentimes by the severity of the singing. The stem is so beautiful too. It's brass, I believe. It's just so lovely and it makes the most beautiful sound. So delicate and pretty. So this will replace that bell that I found in the other video. This will be sold. This will be available in my Christmas collection. I feel far less guilty about keeping that other bell <laughs> now that I found this one. That is not the only bell I found. I also found a miniature of the bigger one. I mean, really, they look pretty similar, except they're just a different size. This one also makes a lovely Tinkerbell kind of sound. Then there's a tag here. I'll show you close up. It'll focus. It says full lead crystal. Oh, that's what it's made of is lead. I'm sorry. I said copper this whole time. I meant lead. 
it says full lead, which I assume is the handle, and then it says crystal. Silver mounted Atlantis. I feel like that's what it says. <laughs> Anybody else who can read smudged writing, let me know. Hand blown and cut for block, Crystal Portugal. This bell I got for 99 cents. I've done no research on this other than looking at it and thinking it was lovely, but I thought if you aren't into really big statement bells for your decoration, maybe something a little more elegant and dainty would be nice. Maybe this is a gift for a child to start their bell collection. Maybe it's something you could turn into an ornament and hang from your tree. I feel like bells are just so versatile. You don't have to just use them for decorating purposes. I feel like I'm gonna be that kind of mom, especially if I have all boys, where I'm gonna have a bell. And I'm gonna be like, dinner time. <laughs> because it's just easier than yelling across the house. Kids, get to the table, it's dinner time. You know what I mean? I feel like there's a lot of uses for is basically the moral of the story. Both of them are gonna be listed for sale. That's all you need to know. This last item I really liked. I picked this up on a whim. It's this cute handbag, which has an adjustable strap. The neutral colors were really what drew me to it in the first place. And the fact that it kind of feels, I think you call it a carpet bag. I don't know if that's what this would be described as, but it has that same texture to me. I loved the intricate, almost geometrical use of faux leather on the front. I felt like it was very designer. Inside, this made me so happy because if you're like me and you're a little accident prone or you're a little mess prone you need a purse like this inside it has this water resistant fabric so if you make a spill or anything it's not gonna stain or soak into the fabric it's just gonna be water resistant the brand is by Avanti which I've never heard of before but I like the style a lot. It does have an inside zipper, like most purses do for change or lipstick or things like that. I tend to put my vlogging camera in there or my cell phone so I can zip it closed and keep it safe. But this is just so sweet. I love that it's a crossbody because you know how I feel about crossbodies. If it's not a backpack, it needs to be a crossbody. I think it'll just go with anything and honestly be suitable for any season. I liked that it was neutral colored because I like my clothes and my accessories to be suitable for as many seasons as possible. With anything I wore, it would complement it. So I got that for myself. I think this was $3.99 or $4.99. I can't remember. I did ask the cashier and I checked out because there was no price on it, but it was under $5. And that's everything I bought from House of St. Francis. I hope you enjoyed this little haul. I really like what I found. I definitely think the leather jacket was my favorite. I will have to get the zipper fixed. I found out when I got home and started zipping it and unzipping it that whatever makes it come apart, even after you've zipped it, it just kind of undoes itself. That's happening. So I'm gonna have to take it to a local cleaners and see if they can replace it for me, but I'm not ready to part with it yet because it's jacket weather. When it gets a little colder and the leather jacket isn't really suitable anymore, that's probably when I'll send it in and part with it temporarily and get it fixed. But that's also the risk you run when you shop thrifted. But I feel like for a 100% leather jacket, totally worth that kind of minor repair. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I really appreciate it and hope you enjoyed seeing Nicole again. I certainly did. It was fun to have her back on the vlog and she will be back in a couple weeks because we're hanging out again and I will be filming a vlogmas video with her. I don't think she knows that yet. Nicole, if you're watching, it's gonna be vlogmas day. I'm already pre-filming and I'm getting so excited for the footage that's gonna be filling your December subscription box on YouTube. I'm, oh, I'm so excited. I feel so creative when Christmas comes around and I can't wait to make the most of this Christmas season. So you have that to look forward to. If you don't wanna miss out on any future videos coming up, please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you never miss a future video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye.